Good morning. Good morning to everyone. I am Dr. Corrine Johnson, and I would just like to welcome each of you this morning to plugging into the power of prayer. Welcome, welcome, welcome to each of you. God bless you, and thank you so much for getting up uh, this morning and uh, interceding with us um, on behalf of the different prayer focuses that God has given us uh, for this hour. So we just want to thank God this morning as we go into prayer. We just ask that uh, each of you uh, just intercede even as I'm praying. Um, our prayer focus point this morning is we're going to be praying and bombarding heaven on behalf of our government this morning. Uh, we know that there's a lot of corruptness, um, lack of integrity and character. Uh, there's a lot of evil things that's going on within our governmental systems. But God has given us the authority uh, to begin to pray and to govern the affairs and what's going on um, in the earth. But we have to begin to pray. Uh, God is calling us back to a place to where we are praying without ceasing. We are plugging into the power of prayer so we can begin to uh, veto. We can begin to uh, come up against some of the things that's going on in the earth that's not of God. So let us pray. Our key scripture this morning is going to be 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 3. And it says that we are to pray, intercede, and give thanks for kings and all people in authority. This is God's command uh, this morning to every believer today that we are to be praying um, for godly leaders um, to begin to, um, we are to be praying for godly leaders um, that are in charge of what goes on in the land. Um, we are to be uh, praying for godly leaders to be productive towards God's plan and his purpose for our nation. And so the Bible says that the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And so even as we're praying this morning, we're going to begin to decree and declare that the heart of our president, the heart of our senates, the heart of those that are in authority over us, uh, that their hand uh, is in the hand of the Lord on this morning. So we must understand that even as we are praying, uh, it is so important that we pray and believe God uh, for what we are praying. And we must pray in faith this morning, believing and remembering that God is literally going to watch over his word to perform it. So even as we're praying this morning, uh, we got to begin to know that the words that we are releasing into the atmosphere this morning, that God is literally going to watch over his word to perform it in our lives. And that's Jeremiah 1 and 12. And so as we go into the throne room and begin to pray, uh, intercede with me as, even as I am praying this morning. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, we bring the needs of our government before you this morning, oh God. And Father, we ask you to bless our nation through godly leaders this morning, oh God. I magnify the name of Jesus on today, and I declare that he is Lord over our nation. Father, I pray this morning, according to 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 3, which says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications and prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our president this morning, O oh God. Father, we pray for Biden this morning, O oh God. Father, we pray, we pray for our vice president this morning, uh, Harris this morning, O oh God. 
and all the cabinet and, and the chief justice and associate justice of the Supreme Court to receive the wisdom of God, to act in obedience to that wisdom and for the power of God to begin to flow in their lives like never before in Jesus name. Father, I pray this morning, oh God, for the members of the Senate and the House of the Representatives to find your peace and your direction, oh God, and for these men and women to act and lead according to your word, oh God, in Jesus' name. For you told us in your word, oh God, that a house divided against itself cannot stand. And so therefore this morning, oh God, I pray, Lord God, for them to be unified in righteousness for the sake of the nation, God. Father, I pray for your protection, Lord God, to begin to cover all of our law enforcement officers, those that are walking in integrity and character, God. Father, I pray this morning, Lord God, that you will begin to cover the men and the women of God that are in the military, oh God. Father God, that are covering us, oh God, and fighting for our freedom on this morning, oh God. Father, I pray this morning, oh God, and I ask for godly counsel and wisdom, Lord God for judges across this land, oh God. Father God, I pray right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, that your kingdom, Lord God, your kingdom will come, Lord God, and your will will be done in the earth, oh God. Father, I pray, Lord God, that you and your kingdom of righteousness, oh God, be manifested in the hearts of all those who are in authority in any way, oh God. Father, your word says to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, oh God, because those who love Jerusalem shall prosper, oh God. So, Lord Jesus, because you love Jerusalem and wept over it, oh God, we love it also, oh God. And so I pray for Jerusalem this morning, Lord God, to receive the shalom of God this morning, which brings wholeness. I declare that nothing shall be missing and nothing shall be broken and nothing shall be lacking in Jesus name, oh God. Father, I pray, Lord God, that no leader of our late our nation will make any decisions, Lord God, that will harm Jerusalem in any way, oh God. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that you begin to reveal your perfect will to all the leaders of Israel, God. I ask you, Lord, to reveal yourself to each person, God. Father, we thank you in advance for hearing our prayers this morning that are in accordance to your will, O oh God, and we will receive answers in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up our president, Lord God, this morning. We lift up President Biden this morning, O oh God. Father God, we realize, O oh God, that he carries an enormous burden this morning, O oh God. The decisions, Lord God, that are made by the president of the United States affect the lives of people, not just in our nation, oh God, but all over the world, oh God. And Father God, he especially needs your touch this morning to begin to lead him, oh God, to make the right decisions, God, concerning the United States of America, oh God. Strengthen him, oh Lord. Give him wisdom and grace. Let him speak and act with honesty and integrity in all situations, oh God. Father, we ask that you give our president of the United States a glimpse of how much you love him, oh God, and how much you love the world you created, oh God. Draw our president to you, oh God. Father God, we ask right now that you would draw him, oh God, into an ever close relationship with you, oh God. Anoint him with your Holy Spirit, oh God. Speak to him in the quiet moments, oh God. Even in the midst of the chaos that's going on around our president, oh God. Speak to him, oh God. In the quiet moments, oh God, when he's still, oh God, soften his heart and make him a true servant leader in this hour, oh God, in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray right now, God, that you would begin to bring strong and wise, spiritual, mature people to surround our president, oh God, that will begin to speak truth to him through the voices of those that he trusts, oh God. Father, I pray right now that you would begin to give our president wisdom, oh God, to reject the voices of those who would urge him to seek only personal power and glory, oh God. Let him know in his soul, oh God, that only with you and through you is the victory going to be won for the United States of America, Lord God. Father God, only through your power, Lord God, is our country and our world going to be made whole, oh God. And so, Father, this morning, we pray for the members of Congress this morning, oh God, both in the Senate and in the House of Representatives this morning, oh God.
God. Father, we ask this morning that you would reveal yourself to them, oh God, and bring them closer to you, oh God, each in their own way, oh God, that they may hear your voice and clearly and distinctively hear your voice this morning, oh God. Speak to them of truth, oh God, integrity, justice, and fairness, oh God. Father, return them, God. We pray to the good and lofty aspirations, Lord God, that they had when they ran for office in the first place, oh God to help others, oh God, to right wrongs this morning, oh God, and to make the world a better place for everybody, oh God. Father, we come up against every prejudice, oh God, that's in the system, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we ask right now that you give each one of them strength, Lord God, to reach out to those across the aisles and work together, oh God. Bring unity in the Senate, oh God. Father God, we boldly pray, Lord God, that you will bind their hearts together in ways they have not imagined in this hour, oh God. Father God, let them declare as King David did how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity, oh God. Father God, we believe what you have told us in your word, oh God, because what is impossible with man is possible with you, oh God. And so, Father God, we ask that you let them see the good works done by people of faith, oh God, across their states and their districts, oh God. Let their eyes be open to what you are doing right now, oh God, through your church. Father God, in Jesus' name, oh God, give them a desire to promote things that honor you, God, not just their own political careers in this hour, God. Father God, cut through the clutter of political as usual and self-promotion in this hour, oh God, and let them hear your voice and speak to them of honor, sacrifice, and purity, oh God. Father, we pray that you're bringing integrity and character back to our nation, oh God, back to our government, oh God, back to those, oh God, that rule over us, oh God, that have authority over us, oh God. Heavenly Father, we, we pray this morning, oh God, that just as you gave wisdom to Moses, oh God, to appoint leaders among the Israelites, Father God, you bless our founders with the wisdom to, uh, to divide our country into individual states, oh God. You have empowered our governors and our state legislators, oh God, to make laws and decrees which manage our daily lives, God. Make our lives safe and protect us from federal government out overreach, oh God. We pray for our governments and our state legislation this morning, oh God. Please, oh God, give them strength and wisdom, Father God, to them and guide their decisions, God. And may they always put love first, oh God, in Jesus' name, God. Surround them with people from all walks of life and many backgrounds, oh God. Bring to them people of high moral character and spiritual maturity, God. Father God, among the voices, oh God, there are many voices, oh God, you would cry out to them every day. Father God, I pray that they will hear your voice above all the other voices that are around them. Father God, send godly influences, Father God, into the White House, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. As we look to our governors, oh God, for assurance and guidance, oh God, especially in times of crisis, oh God. Father, speak through them by the power of your Holy Spirit this morning in Jesus' name, oh God. Oh, Father, we pray right now for salvation, oh God, to hit the White House like never before, oh God. Father God, we pray, Lord God, for salvation to even, Father God, to find our president and our vice president if they don't know you in the part of their sins, oh God. Oh, Father, we pray right now, oh God, for our local leaders this morning, oh God. Jesus, we understand, oh God, uh, the uh, authority, oh God. And so, Father, we pray right now, oh God, that you would touch our local leaders right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. If they're not saved, oh God, and men and women of integrity, oh God. Father, we pray right now, Lord God, that you would begin to pour out your spirit upon them, oh God. Right now in Jesus name oh God father we lift up our local leaders God we pray for mayors God we pray for city council this morning we pray for county commissioners this morning oh God we pray for the police chief judges and all of those who serve our local communities oh God father we pray right now that you would begin to strengthen them with your wisdom and your grace for the heavy burdens that they carry oh God oh father we pray 
for our police department this morning, oh God. Father, we pray right now that you are even filling the police department, Lord God, with men and uh, men and women of integrity, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God, we come up against the spirit of murder, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father God, our people, Lord God, are being murdered by those that are supposed to protect and serve our communities, oh God. And so, Father, we pray, Father God, against any wicked agenda in our police departments this morning, oh God. Those, Father God, that are that are police officers, oh God, that are evil and that are wicked, oh God. We pray right now that you replace them, oh God, with men and women of God of integrity and character that will love our communities, that will serve our communities, oh God, in integrity in this hour, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we pray for strength for them, oh God. We pray for wisdom and grace, oh God, for them to carry out um, the assignment that you have given them in the earth, oh God. Father, we ask right now, Father God, when it comes, Lord God, to, to the mayors, to the city council, to our community, uh, our county commissioners and police chiefs and policemen and judges, God, all everybody who serves in our local communities, oh God. Father, we pray right now that you would begin to keep their hearts pure, O oh God, and their eyes turn toward your face, Lord God, as they work in the best interest of the people that they are called to serve in Jesus' name, Lord God. Father God, we are grateful this morning, O oh God, to live in a country, O oh God, where we can openly pray for our leaders, O oh God. Father. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that the, the Bible tells us, oh God, that we are to pray, oh God, for kings and all of those that are in authority, oh God, that we may begin to live peaceful and quiet lives, oh God, in all godliness and holiness, oh God. And so, Father, we begin to lift up, Lord God, our leaders this morning, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. And Father, we are praying right now, Lord God, that you begin to order their steps according to your word, oh God. Father, the leaders that are walking in integrity and character, oh God, Father, I pray that you be a shield of protection around them in Jesus' name. Those with a wicked agenda, oh God, I pray that you will begin to replace them, oh God, with godly leaders that will serve your country, oh God with strength, wisdom, character, integrity, and the fear of the Lord. Father God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we pray right now, Lord God. Father God, for those, Lord God, those leaders, oh God, that are struggling, oh God. Father God, that are in between, that are struggling, God, on one side of the fence and the other side of the fence. God, we pray right now, oh God, that there will be no more straddling or fences, oh God, in the White House, oh God, in our governmental systems, oh God. But Father, we declare that you are raising up men and women of God in our government, oh God, that will stand for you, oh God. Father God, we, we cast the lukewarmness, Lord God. We loose the lukewarmness from our government officials, oh God, and we declare that they will either be hot and on fire for you, oh God, Father God, or they will be, Lord God, for the enemy, oh God, and those that are for, that are working on behalf of Satan, Lord God, and his agenda, oh God, we declare right now, oh God, that you are even, Lord God, removing them out of office right now in Jesus' name, expose their wicked agendas, oh God, against the people in this country, oh God, in Jesus' name, Father, we come up against every spirit of mammon in Jesus name we come up against the spirit of greed oh God we come up against the the spirit of filthy lucre oh God this morning in Jesus name those that are in the governmental systems oh God and they are are, are embezzling of money God and mishandling the money oh God father we ask that you expose right now in Jesus name father God we ask that you will begin to put godly leaders in place oh God that will make decisions for this country that will glorify you oh God we pray this this morning that you will put godly leaders in place, oh God, that will begin to pray for the people in this country, oh God, that will begin to fear you, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God, not only fear you, oh God, but declare that you are Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of their lives in Jesus' name. And so, Father, we thank you this morning that you are hearing our prayers this morning, oh God that you are hearing our prayers, oh God. You said that when the righteous cry out and pray, oh God, 
that you will begin to hear us, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. And so, Father, we thank you this morning, oh God. And we are praying in faith this morning, God, believing, Lord God, that you are watching over your word this morning to perform it, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we thank you that even as we are praying and we are believing you, God, to begin to shift things in this country, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we pray right now, oh God, in faith, oh God. Father God, that our government will know you, oh God, in the pardon of their sins this morning, oh God. Father, we pray this morning, oh God, that our government, oh God, that you will begin to send salvation, oh God. Send somebody to the White House, Lord God, that will begin to offer salvation to those that don't know you, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. And so, Father, we come up against the corruptness in our government, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we come up against the prejudices in our governmental systems, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we come up against right now, oh God, any decisions that are made that are not going to be beneficial to your people in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we pray right now in Jesus' name, oh God, that there will be different uh, uh, things and, and decisions that are made within our White House, oh God. But Father, we declare that before any decisions are made, that they will begin, Lord God, to seek your face like never before concerning your people, oh God, and those things and those decisions that they are that they are making against your will and against your word oh god father we counsel the assignment of the enemy now in jesus name and father we declare this morning oh god that you are raising up lord god you are raising up this morning men and women of god of integrity in our government oh god father god that will begin to make decisions this morning oh god Father God, that will be beneficial to your people. And so, Father, we thank you this morning and we bless your name this morning, oh God. We pray for peace this morning for the government, oh God. We pray for direction this morning for the government, oh God. Father God, we pray for the Republicans this morning. We pray for the Democrats this morning, oh God. Realizing, Lord God, uh, that when it comes to you, oh God, that you're not looking at groups, oh God. You're not looking at Republicans. You're not looking at Democrats, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. But Father, we pray this morning, oh God, that you said that a house divided against itself cannot stand. And so, Father, we pray that the Republicans and the Democrats are coming together right now in unity to make decisions, oh God, that are going to be good for this country, that are going to come into alignment with your will and your word in Jesus' name, oh God. And so, Father, I pray right now, oh God, and I cover the White House in Jesus' name, oh God, under your blood, oh God. And Father, I pray that your blood will begin to cleanse, oh God, that your blood will begin to wash, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. And Father, we just pray this morning, oh God. We pray this morning for our president, oh God. Father, for the burden, oh God, that he's carrying this morning, oh God. Whether you're voted for him or not, we, we pray for him this morning. It's not about whether we voted for him or not, or we voted for somebody else, but we have been instructed by the word of the Lord that no matter who is in office, that we are to pray, that we are to intercede and give thanks for the keys of all of the people in authority. And so our president is in a place of authority this morning. And so we just pray this morning that the plans and the purposes that our president have for our nation, that they will come into alignment with the word of God. And so, Father, we bless you this morning. And Lord God, we thank you this morning that you've heard our prayer. We thank you this morning, oh God, that you're moving even now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, that you're moving now in Jesus' name. You said that you gave us dominion. You gave us power and authority, oh God. And so we exercise that authority in prayer this morning, oh God. And we are believing that the very things that we have prayed, oh God, that you have heard us, oh God, and that you're already moving in the earth, that you're already moving in the earth to perform your word, oh God. And so, Father, we just thank you this morning, oh God. And Father, we pray right now, God, for those uh, that are on the conference call line this morning. We pray for those that are on social media listening this morning. And I decree and I declare um, over your households this morning, 
I declare the blood of Jesus over your households. I declare the blood of Jesus over your lives this morning. I plead the blood of Jesus this morning over your household, over your marriages, over your children, over your jobs, over your mind in Jesus name. And Father, we just thank you, Lord God, and we bless you this morning. We bless your holy name this morning, oh God. And Father, as we begin to end this prayer, oh God, Father, we pray, Lord God, that your blood will form a hedge of protection around us on today, oh God, that will not be penetrated by the enemy, God. Father, we cancel every plan, every plot, every scheme of the enemy off of our lives in Jesus' name. And we plead your blood, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. Um, thank you once again, each of you, for tuning in this morning uh, for prayer. Uh, we will be here um, again on Monday morning at 5 a.m. Uh, we have prayer Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. in the morning. We are going to be um, having a different uh, daily uh, prayer focus to where we're going to be praying um, for different things that are going on in the earth. And so I thank God for each of you that are tuning in. And I thank God for each of you pressing your way up um, to intercede with me. God bless each of you um, on this morning. <clears throat> and it is my prayer that even as we uh, have been praying this morning, that we know that God has heard us. And we know that God is moving in the earth once again to perform his word. And so God bless each of you. I pray for your day on today, that, that your day, that God will begin to order your steps according to his word on today. I pray uh, that your steps will not be interrupted by the plans and the plots of the enemy. I declare on today that you are moving in the frequency and the time timing of the spirit of the Lord. I pray over you on today that you will have a blessed day and that none of the plans and the purposes that God has for your life will be interrupted by the schemes of the enemy on today. But I declare, I declare on today, I declare over your lives on today that you will have a blessed day on today. I declare over your life on today that because your steps are ordered by the Lord on this morning, that none of your steps shall slide on today. I cover you and your families under the blood of Jesus. I cover you and your families under the blood of Jesus. And I declare that the angels of the Lord are encamped around you all and your families and your jobs today in Jesus name. So father, we thank you. And father, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. We do pray. Amen. And amen. God bless each of you. And if it's the will of the Lord, I will see each of you on Monday morning at 5 a.m. as we are plugging into the power of prayer. God bless you and have a great day.